and welcome to our GE Low Voltage Revolution Tour. I'm Marty Trevette, I'm the Switchgear Product Manager, and today I'm going to introduce you to our new line of Switchgear. It's the AKD20 family. It's based off the heritage of GE that goes back to the 1950s and the AKD line. And first of all, I want to show you that, uh, that we have the non-vented panels. I know arc flash safety is a big concern in today's market. And we've designed this equipment so there's no, no venting. No venting on the door swing panels at all so that the operator can stand in front of this equipment and be safe from an arc flash event. Um, we also have designed it with, with heavy gauge steel, uh, 13 gauge, 14 gauge steel. We've designed an extra deep customer compartment, control compartment, so that you can put rack mounted devices and other items in the, into this toward the spec. We have, in this section, we have 85 and 100 kA feeders, four high for all of our feeder circuits, and it's a 22 inch wide section, so it's extra narrow. We have stackable mains. We have main time main configurations. We have most of the configurations available in AKD-10 that you may be familiar with. Um, and then next I'm gonna jump in here and show you the, the, our new breaker and new trip unit. Our new trip unit is called the IntelliGuard TU. Our new breaker is called the IntelliGuard G circuit breaker. I'll start with the circuit breaker. It's really clean design, very user friendly, easy access to the manual charging handle, easy access to the push on and off button, the close and, and open buttons. Uh, it has a cassette type, type design where your interlocks are easy to get to in the front. You can lock out, tag out from the front. It has an integral racking handle to rack it from uh, the withdrawn position to the to fully connected position. It has a lock mechanism. It has Ronis and Kirk key locking mechanisms as well. Uh, this breaker it's, has been tested to 20,000 no load mechanical operations. Uh, even though the ANSI C3720 and the, and the UL1558 standards only require 12,500, this breaker has gone to 20,000 operations in our, in our tests. Uh, the, the trip unit is, is a neat design. It has more curves than, than any of the competition basically for selective coordination while maintaining arc flash safety. So you can set your instantaneous pickup at a level that will allow you to maintain selective coordination with your entire switchgear feed while also maintaining the best in reduced energy let through or arc flash safety. And while I'm on reduced energy let through, we have a new, new feature here in the switchgear in this control panel called RELT, reduced energy let through, as I just mentioned. You can turn this on. If you're a maintenance operator, you come to the switchgear, you turn it on, it pulls the trip unit and tells if it's in reduced energy let through mode. And what that is, it sets the trip unit to its fastest setting so that you're in the best possible arc flash safety mode if you're a maintenance operator. And that's, that's pretty much the gist of the front of the breaker. We're going to go over to the table and shoot some stuff that goes into the rear of the compartment and talk about that. I want to show you a couple of features we have in the rear of the compartment that are, that are novel to this design. First we have what we call the Miller bus. Uh, this bus system, this is a riser bus system. Uh, most uh, riser bus systems are just flat bars that run up. We made a channel so that we can make a, basically a chimney. So it runs up, air can run up through this riser and you get basically a double skin effect. You get skin effect on the inside and the outside. So we basically increase the uh, surface area of the conductor. Uh, in some cases we double it. So, and also in addition, you see it's a very rigid design for short, high short circuit forces up to 200 kA. But making this a box shape, we got the maximum amount of strength and the maximum efficiency in current carrying capabilities. So our gear runs uh, relatively cool and very strong, very strong design, minimal bus supports needed. I also want to show you our insulated and isolated bus system. We have this extruded composite uh, material glass reinforced fiber for insulating and isolating the bus, again for arc flash safety and maintenance. And we use a lot of uh, standard glass polyester uh, reinforced sheet um, for our insulation. And that is, uh, and also I want to mention in the rear cable compartment we have, spa it's very spacious for allowing multiple cables to be pulled in from the bottom, from top hat assemblies, from the side, so multiple combinations of, of cable pulls in the rear cable compartment. Very generous space. And then we have also the NEMA 3Rs and the outdoor enclosures for, um, for those that need outdoor space. And we have, again for arc flash safety, we have uh, mechanical shutters in our cassette assembly up front. 
and we have CTs as well in the front, uh, front accessible, so you don't have to go into the rear for your relay and metering CTs in a lot of cases. And so now I'm going to flip over, and we're going to do a demonstration of our new remote racker for this, uh, for this switch gear. Again, an arc flash safety uh, item that we have that we're launching here with this new product. Hi again. I want to show you our new uh, remote racker. It's a lighter design uh, for these new IntelliGuard breakers. Uh, a little bit nicer design than the previous one we had that we're launching. Um, we're going to take this breaker in the fully withdrawn position. We're going to rack it into the fully connect position. You'll be able to see it from the side and from the front. You'll be able to see it traveling. So we're going to start racking now. And in, in addition, you're going to have an indicator on this, uh, this HMI for the operator that'll tell you if you're in a test position, connect position, or disconnect position. And when it gets to a, uh, to a limit, to the fully connect, fully withdrawn position, there's an overcurrent uh, device inside this box that allows you to, to know that. And you can also stretch it out 30 to 100 feet away from the uh, switch gear for uh, arc flash safety. So uh, if we could uh, rack it now to the, uh, to the fully connected position. So you see the breakers starting to engage. Shutters opened. It's in the fully connect, almost into the fully connect position now. And you can see it from the side that it's now, the, the overcurrent device kicked in. You can now see it from the side. It's fully engaged. The shutter's open. The contacts are on the assembly now. And uh, now it's safe to remove the device uh, and safe to uh, energize, close the breaker, or whatever you may want to do. So now it's safe.